Hello everyone, welcome back. Now to connect to the database, I already have the code ready uh, so that we can save the time. Let's go there and copy that. Make sure you import the references Okay, so here I'll just walk you through the code. We have a function called get all employees, and it just returns a data table which is a form of array. And here, if you see, we have a connection string which is named as dbcs and this is what we would be getting from the config file and then we have a stored procedure that is being called and this is what returns as the data generally it's recommended to you know have the stored procedures instead of writing the queries directly here so that whenever there are any kind of modifications those modifications can be directly handled in the SP instead of making the changes in the services here. Okay. Um, so this is the method that we would be calling from the front end to consume the data. And here we are returning back the data in the form of JSON. So what this does is it converts the data table into a JSON string. And this is the code to convert data table to JSON string. Okay. So let's save this. and let's build it now we can open the folder location so this is the code that we need to move to the web hosting account to do that zip the folder so that we can upload in a single go okay now we can go to the go to our hosting account go to the website where you want to upload the files click upload select the zip file and then select and extract the files so this is the folder that gets generated with all of our code now let's quickly test if this works fine so the location would be designs.com slash services slash employee service dot asmx Great. this is the service that we have created So now let's see how we can use this service to fetch the data and display in a front end.
see you in the next one